Hello, Dr. Shamir and Dr. Hensley. Today, me and my groupmates are going to present our group title, which is Mobus and Heart. Uh, heart means that highway addressable remote transducer. And about me to introduce myself and my teammate. My name is Lee Wami, Razi, Hilmi, Daya, and Afik. So, hello everyone. My name is Hilmi, and today I will to present my part, which is abstract and I will summarize all this topic in the end of this video so stay tuned so for the abstract one um, field bus and mod bus are in process control field at the end of the required trend in process instrument development So for the field bus, field bus product is certainly acceptable on the market because of its complete functionality and its extreme characteristic as per the international standard of field bus because in transmitting analog signals, hard carries or digital communication. So next, uh, the new generation of industrial data equestation and monitoring system for automation with the rapid development of integrated computer technology to embedded microprocessor high performance and its fit in well the application system. So next, uh, it meets the high functional requirement, reliability, cost, size, and power use. The mobile commission protocol is a widely used industrial standard for industrial automation, application, and use for massive industrial device such as DCS, PLC, RTU, and smart device, and so on. So next is Modbus. Modbus is an embedded data acquisition to satisfy the demand of the integrated data acquisition system to track the application for industrial automation Modbus protocol based platform monitoring under Linux. So next is, uh, there are two types of communication modes available to the serial port Modbus master protocol, ASC, II, and RTO. Consequently, it can be done to communicate with various serial Modbus protocol system. The master of Modbus table are reliable, realized through this ML platform. It is very propensive of new automation application in the ML data acquisition monitoring system. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Ain Hidayah binti Mat Nasir And I will start my presentation of introduction of Modbus and Hard That is Highway 
addressable remote translation. So, what is what is Modbus? Modbus is in 1979, Modicon Company introduced Modbus that has Modbus protocol, that common language that used by Modicon controller to communicate with other devices and supply the internet standard for analyzed message. And next. Modbus, also known as master slave system, where the master contact with one or more slave as three version ASCII, RTU, TCP, and TCP. Also, it has standard Modbus port that is RS2232, and also its devices has their own memory that can process the variable data. And for uh, the three version of Modbus ASCII, RTU, Modbus ASCII, RTU, and TCP, they has they have their own characteristic as you can see on the screen. Okay. Next, I start about heart, which I have said before. Heart is st stand for Highway addressable remote transducer where it has standard range from 4 to 20 milliampere, possible to transmitted process variable data, and also it has performance feature that responds time approximately 500 milliseconds. Next, I will move on to limitation. As we know, Modbus and Heart has their own limitation for Modbus. The node need to search about the description of the data object. Secondly, not supported by big binary object. And the third one is limited to address for 247 devices within one data connection only. For Modbus RTC, it has maximum number of devices that is 32 devices only has distance limitation for RS232 it's for 25 feet or 7.5 meter for RS485 it within 4000 4, feet or 1.2 kilometer and it has content data access restriction that support only single Modbus master. After that, for hard, it only two limitation that function of analog signal image drop mode lose it function and also it has very slow digital signal. Thank you. That's all from me. Thank you. Hello doctor, now I'm going to present about the layer of heart which is uh, as you can see from the right hand side the heart protocol communication model. In this heart communication protocol model, it just uses three kinds of layers because they are more simplified and uh, developed in these three kinds. Uh, the first one will be the physical layer and the second one will be the data link and the third one will be the application layer. Start with from the physical layer. The physical layer specified on the physical signal of heart communication and the transmission medium. The heart protocol used the Bell 202, uh, 202 standard FSK signal. It's superimposing sinusoidal amplitude modulation wave of 0 0.5 mA on uh, 4 to 20 mA analog signal. 1200 Hz represent a logical one and 2200 Hz represent a logical zero and now for the data link layer this part of the agreement specific uh, specify hard frame format to achieve the attachment maintenance and link communication capabilities hard protocol use error detection code information based on redundancy through error detection mechanism and by using automatic repeat request protocol which is the ARQ to realizing communicate data without errors in transmission. For the third one will be the application layer. In this application layer, he have three commands. The first command will be the common commands 
It's for all the products complete with the hard protocol. Second one, the general commands will for the most of the product uh, with hard protocol. The third one will, uh, will be the device specific commands complete with the certain products only, which is uh, by using the different of the diffusion command. And now I'm going to talk about the hard network. In hard network, we have a point to point and another one which is a multi drop. As you can see, for the hard uh, for the point-to-point -point method, it's from the ERP CMM access management. Uh, go through the hard interface. Another one is a hard enable I/O system, which is input output system to the field device. And also the hard interface is also go to the uh, field device as well. In here, we can see that the single point uh, is a two points, which is the first one multi-point access direct to the hard capable input output. Multiplexes hard to RS 485 gateway uh, more protocol converted converters hard to internet mobile bus or proper bus. Which means that if we want to connect uh between remote bus and hard uh this one, we can might be use this one, uh the protocol converters. And the second one, which is the single point access, which is convert the digital signal to the 4 to 20 milliampere or contact closer. For the second one, which is the multi-drop, uh, the control system of other host application goes to the input-output system and handheld terminal and then to the multi-drop, which is the field bus, field device, sorry. Okay, for more detail about the point-to-point -point, uh, connection network, the 4 to 20 milliampere signal is used to communicate one process variable or additional process variable configuration parameters and other device are principal digital using the hard protocols and the 4 to 20 milliampere analog signal is not affected by the hard signal and can be used for control the hard communication digital signal give access to the secondary variables and other data that can be used for operation commissioning maintenance and diagnostic purpose while for the multi-drop network, the multi-drop network is require a single pair of wires of applicable safety barriers and an auxiliary power supply up to 15 fields or 62 device uh, 65, uh, yes, device. All process values are transmitted digitally in multi-drop mode. All field device polling address must be unique in a range of 1 to 63 and depending on the hard protocol restriction and the current through each device is a fixed minimal value which is a uh, four to uh, four milliampere use multi-drop connection for supervisory control installation that are wide in space such as pipeline custody transfer sex station and the tank pump and now i'm going to talk about the correlation cycle it is almost it is actually about the master and slave system but uh, we are talking about the query message from master and the response message from the slave as you can see both query message from the master and the response message from the slave are having the same structure which is the device address function code a bit data bytes and error check now I will compare the each function about it okay as for the device function, which is uh, the def the function code in the query tells the address slave device what kind of action they should perform, which is that the query send the message to the slave. If the slave makes a normal response, the function code in response is an echo of the function code in the query, which is that the slave responds to the function code from the query, for, which is from the master. And the data bytes uh, compared between them is the query contains any additional information that the slave will need to perform the function while the slave of course will contain the data collected by the slave and such as a uh, register of status. Here's an example. Function code will uh, function code 03 will query the slave to read holding register and respond to their contents. The data field must be contain the information telling the slave which register to start at and how many registers should, should they read. If an error occurs, the function code uh, is modified to dedicate that the response is an error response, 
then they will provide will contain an error uh, a code that describes the error which is they were sending the response back to the query now uh, for the error check field the query will provide a method for the slave to validate and the integrity of the message contained uh, while for the slave will allow the master to confirm the message content are valid or not now i'm going to discuss about the mode bus the mode bus uh, the two serial transmission mode in mode bus we have two types of method the first one is the american standard code for information interchange uh, while the rcu means that remote terminal unit mode start from the AC, ASCII mode the controllers are set up to communicate on mode bus network using this method this mode and each 8 byte 8 bit byte in the message is sent as two ASCII characters while for an RTU mode when the controllers are set up to communicate on a mode bus uh, network using RTU unit each 8 bit byte in a message contains 4 bit hexadecimal characters Compare the advantage of these two, the ASCII mode is a lot time interval of up to one second to occur between characters without causing an error. And for the RTU mode, its greater character density allows the better data throughput than ASCII for the same baud rate. Each message must be transmitted in continuous stream. And now I'm going to pass to Hilmi. Uh, I will pass to Afik. To about continue his part. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Afiq bin Zakaria. Now I will uh, explain about application of HUD protocol and Modbus protocol and how it works for HUD and Modbus protocol. Okay, for the how does it work for Modbus? The first point, Modbus is a simple master slave protocol. Second point, the master the master will record the output and read the input of each slave during each cycle. Third point, the master has full control over the communication on the bus while a slave will only respond when spoken. Now this is a mod bus scan for the uh, for HMI remote input or uh, output VSD remote remote uh, input output HMI. This is a mod bus RTU RS on four eight five. Now I will explain about the how does it work of hard protocol. First point, the physical layer has a transmission rate of 1200 bps. Second point, one uh, 1200 hertz frequency represents bit 1. Third point, 2200 hertz frequency represents the bit 0. Okay, now this is about uh, graph for the hub protocol. One hundred, uh, one thousand two hundred hertz is one. Two thousand two hundred hertz for zero. The R represent for response. C represent for command. This is a hard signal. Uh, this for analog signal for milliampere for milliampere to 20 milliampere and this are uh, for time for second
Now, I will explain about the application of Modbus protocol. First point, Modbus must must slave protocol on the CV9. Second point, all transactions consist of a request sent by the master to the single slave followed by a response from the slave device. The third point, transactions involving requests sent by the master that do not require a response message from the slave device. Now for Modbus standard defined, four main list cl uh, class of register. First point, COI, single bit, read, readable and writable register. Second point, holding register, 60 bit, readable and writable register. Third point, discrete input, single bit, read only register. Fourth point, input register, 60 bit, read only register. Now for the application of hard protocol. The first point, hard communication protocol based on a master or slave where the slave is only sent send if the message contains a request from the master. Second point, hard equipment is typically done through an interface called call modern, modern hard which allow real-time access between the host and the instrument. Okay, this for hard modem, PC host application, primary master, and handheld terminal, single master, temporary 250 ohm resistor, and field device. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Fakur Razi and in the next session, I will present about the difference between hard protocol and Modbus protocol and also the advantage and the disadvantage of both protocols. Okay, hard communication protocol was developed by Philcom Group and Modbus communication protocol was developed by Modicon INC. Hard is used to make connection between hard device while the Modbus can be used to make connection to devices and networks. Hard enable two-way communication on a single wire connection while the communication between Modbus is send request and read response type message using two-wire communication for transmit and receive. The next one is hard has two devices. Hard has two master devices which uh, primary and secondary master while the Modbus only has one master devices and each one of the slave devices has already its own address for the hard protocol while for the Modbus protocol the slave device address is given by the master device the next one is the data on Slave device can be accessed remotely or direct directly by using master device or communication device for hard, but Modbus can only use master device to access data directly on slave devices. The next 
first one is the advantages and the disadvantages. The hard advantages, first one is able to communicate along the instrument current loops across existing data existing for to 20 MA. The next one is utilizing the pair of wire used by the analog only host system. And the third one is used in process and instrumentation system from small scale application to advanced industry. The, the advantages for hard communication protocol is that the data signal is weak. The second one is up to 16 hard device can be connected on multi dot connection and the third one is the analog signal is set to a value of 4 me The next one is the advantage of Modbus. The first one is easy to use when applying the program on the different devices. The second one is didn't use of special interface controller. And the third one is it doesn't need the high degree of protocol accessibility. The last one is the the advantages of the mode bus. The first is the slave device message transmission is removed and only one device can serve as the master. The next one is the slave device cannot detect a contact failure with the master. The third one is the request length of data is limited. And the lastly is that the data can only be requested from consecutive register. That's all from me. Thank you. So lastly, it's a conclusion. So for the conclusion, the communication protocol from Modbus and Fitbus is a widely used and has indeed become an industrial standard. It is used as a communication standard between massive industrial equipment including DCS, PLC, RTO, Spine Instrument and so on. So last but not least is the new generation of industrial data acquisition system use the integrated high performance as the core of the microprocessor. As a consequence, it is well adapted to meet the strict functional requirement, reliability, cost, size, energy, consumption, and so on. That's all for us. Thank you, doctor, and stay healthy.